Hi, this is James from TracyMatt.co.uk and from Unboxings.com, and I'm with the uh, the Cedar from Sonny Ericsson, and this is part of their Green Heart range, as you can see there, the logos on the box, uh, and that basically means that the uh, parts of the device and also the packaging are made from uh, recycled materials, which is uh, all very good. So inside the box, we've got some instructions there how to get the back cover off and insert the SIM card, and it also tells you which button is the power button. So, that's quite clearly the device in there. So, we put that to one side, and that comes in a, uh, a little pouch, which is quite clearly recycled material. We haven't got much else. We've got a charger, and this is a uh, mic USB. And we've got some paperwork, which is just warranty and stuff like that. So, um, I, presume with the, uh, I presume with the retail unit, we'll get some headphones and other bits and pieces. So we'll switch on the device and while that boots up we'll have a quick look around. On the left hand side we've got the uh, the micro USB port there at the top and down at the bottom that looks like a, a speaker grill of some sort. Over on the right we've got the up down volume rocker just at the top there. On the bottom some holes which obviously the speaker. On the top we've got the three and a half mil jack and over on the back, we've got the uh, the camera lens there, um, which is two, two megapixel, and there's no flash. And then on the front, as you can quite clearly see, it's a uh, standard candy bar design phone, um, numeric keypad. We've got various soft keys, and we've got a kind of like a a, a, a D pad as well. So while that just uh, gets itself ready, I'll give you a quick rundown of the specs, which are uh, uh, the device uh, does support 3G. The screen is 2.2 uh, inch, 240 by 320 pixels. As I said, it's a, a two megapixel camera. Uh, size wise, it's 111 mil by 49 by 16, and it only weighs 84 grams, so it's fairly lightweight. Supports Bluetooth, memory is, um, Achieved by inserting a, a micro USD, um, there will be a, a very small amount of uh, memory uh, internal here, but that's about it. Uh, and in terms of battery life, uh, Sony Ericsson say this is good for three and a half hours talk time or 20 days of standby. So we'll have a, a quick look round. So we've got a, uh, a nice animated home screen there. So let's look at these, uh, these soft keys on the left hand side that says that that one's a media one. And that obviously uh, gives us a shortcut into our music and videos and games, that sort of thing. The right one is a search, and that allows us to do a Google search straight from the straight from the uh, home screen, which is fairly handy. We've then got the call, cool send, and end buttons, and underneath those, there's on the left, there's a, another button. That's shortcuts. I think these are these are customizable. If my memory serves me right, new events, running apps, my shortcuts and uh, the internet, so we've got bookmarks. And then the, uh, the other key here is just a cancel one. So it says if we press up, we've got a menu, and this is where we can have shortcuts on the home screen to Facebook, MySpace, Notes, Twitter, Clock Widget. And I've used this sort before on a, another device, I can't remember what it was, it might have been the Sunny Ericsson Elm, which is actually fairly handy. So if we jump, right into the menu we'll see what we've got here we've got play now we'll see what this is so we're relying now on uh, on 3g as i say there's no uh, there's no wi-fi with this device play now this is where we can give sony ericsson our money five pounds for a game i don't think so goodbye we've then got the uh, the web browser and we'll do a Google something. What should we Google? Um, Google pizza. I'm not sure if it's actually doing anything. Come on. Now it's doing something. So we can use the D-pad to move around the screen and obviously press the uh, the center of it to uh, select something on the screen. 
and then obviously we're we're getting uh, I suppose WAP kind of style pages. It's uh, not the uh, the browsing experience we're uh, used to or accustomed to on a smartphone. Okay, next we've got entertainment, and we oh we've got a radio in here, track ID, got some games, record sound. That's fairly handy. Camera. Um, it's just a case of uh, pressing the D-pad to take the to take the camera shot, which uh, seems to work okay. But uh, it's only a two megapixel camera, so we're not going to have the best uh, best experience there. And uh, we've then got messaging, media, alarms. We can have, we can have various ones, which is nice. Contacts, calendar. That looks reasonable. We've got a call register, uh, organizer, file manager, tasks, notes, synchronization timer, stopwatch calculator, and we've got settings, which is where we can tweak the sound and uh, display and stuff like that. So, um, compared to the handsets we've had recently, this is fairly basic, but um, it's a, a form factor that's extremely desirable still. Uh, and uh, that's reflected in the price, but uh, we'll have a full review of the, uh, the Sony Ericsson Cedar uh, on the site in the next couple of weeks, and uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching.